Good morning and happy Tuesday. Welcome to Sneak Peeks for My Creative Times release. Today is Sneak Peek Day 1. Tomorrow will be Sneak Peek Day 2. And then on um, Halloween, which is Thursday, not Friday, but Thursday is the day that we're going to do the release. So um, welcome in and let's start on Sneak Peek Day 1. Uh, we're going to start by showing you the paper pad. This is the Hot Chocolate Season. 2024 paper pad. I love this paper pad. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. Um, on the papers themselves, uh, the fronts of the papers have this hot chocolate recipes and information. So it's Mexican hot chocolate recipe, three cups milk, one cinnamon stick, three tablespoons unsweetened cocoa powder. So it goes through and gives the recipe um, and it, it repeats down the page and it has candy canes and mini marshmallows and peppermint hot chocolate. Um, it tells you how to do different things, but it's just all typed up and you have it in all these different colors. So you have green, blue, pink, red, brown, and then white with brown type. And, uh, and then on the opposite side are, is this beautiful diagonal gingham. And I love diagonal gingham. Um, I love any type of gingham, but diagonal is one of my, definitely one of my favorites. And this is a micro diagonal gingham. And then there is a beautiful striped paper on the back of the white one with the chocolate writing. So just a wonderful, wonderful paper pad. I think I only have like one sheet of each one in here to show you. And then that's pretty much it because <laughs> I've used so much of the paper in my creating. But that is the hot chocolate season paper pad. I also, of course, pulled out and used some of the papers from the Christmas uh, Ginger Kisses 2 paper pad. I used the holly. I used the candy. I think I used this one, and I also used this pink one, and I might have used that too. I'm not sure. So um, this is, of course, the Christmas Gingers number two, and uh, this is a brand new one that I just got, um, and uh, I, I used some of that. And then um, let's show the, the sneak peek today includes this beautiful stamp set called the Hot Cocoa Stamps MCT 433. And uh, the biggest stamp is this beautiful emblem that says North Pole Original since 1971, Hot Cocoa Santa Approved. And uh, it's just a, a, a really nice size and it's made to fit the front of the treat box. Um, it fits the square die and the treat bag die and I'll show you that in a minute. And then all of the, the stamps in her are related to cookies and gingerbread and hot chocolate. And uh, there's also one that says that's about mixing in the packets of hot cocoa into hot water to make hot cocoa. So you can add that to the front of your treat bags if you want to do some hot cocoa type treat bags. Um, where you put your peppermint sticks, your marshmallows, and your hot cocoa packets in. So there's a little take for that. And really, there's a bunch of takes that would work for that. There's hot chocolate homemade with co co cocoa cookies and candies. It says Santa Claus Company. There's a reindeer brewed hot chocolate. So just a great, great stamp set. And uh, you can certainly pause the video and take a closer look if you'd like. Um, and then there's the, the next die set that we're showcasing is the large treat bag add-ons, okay? And the add-on is this piece that creates the sides of the bag and then two new tag dies that you can use. And that, of course, works back to the large treat bag die set that we already released. And this square die that's in here, um, that's part of the pocket, okay? It's made to go on the front of the pocket. This is the perfect size to cut out the largest stamp that's in here. So that's what I did, and I just thought I would show that to you. So that's made to cut that out. <clears throat> so these two work together, the large treat bag and then the large treat bag add-on. So those are new. Um, the add-on is new. And then we have the cocoa mug stuff and the hot cocoa add-on, okay? So the cocoa mug and stuff is this hot cocoa or coffee dye with the layering piece. You have the top of the mug as well as a cocoa or coffee dye. Um, whoops, let me put that on here the right way. And then we have a, a snowflake, the word hot cocoa, a die that cuts, there's two dies for marshmallows as well as a die that cuts a topper of marshmallows 
for on top of the cup. And then you have your whipped cream and two little prim hearts that you can also use to either decorate the cup or you can do a lot of different things with them actually. Um, and then there's the hot cocoa add-on, which is your candy canes and your cinnamon sticks. So just wonderful, wonderful die sets. So fun to cut all those candy canes all at once. And, uh, and then I love that Emma did this hot cocoa little plate die so you can just cut it one time and set it into your mug. So that is the hot cocoa um, aspect of it. And then we move on to cookies and we have the gingerbread cookies plate die. And this plate die cuts out Christmas tree cookies, snowflake cookies, and gingerbread cookies with little bows that you can do bow ties or bows in their hair. And it, it, it's enough to cut out three of each one um, completely. And, uh, and you know, so you, you just run it through um, in white, use some brown ink to color uh, the cookies to the cookie color if you'd like, and then run it through again. Um, and you can die cut the frosting pieces in different colors um, and your bows out in different colors. So it's a lot of fun. I love this. And then we have the wood plate die, and this makes a plate of cookies or it can also be a plate that you set your mug on. So this is a really neat die. I used it to make a cookie plate and I absolutely love this die set. It's really fun. So those are all of the new products, the paper pads as well as the new dies. And then before I show you my projects, really quick, I'm gonna flip through and show you the rest of the items that I used. So I used the apron stamps and dies. I didn't use the dies, but I did use the stamps. Specifically, I used this little mug, the 25 cents and the hot cocoa and gingerbread on one of my cards. Um, I used this stamp joy, which is part of the jingle all the way stamp and die set. So this is the one that has the spatula in it. And I used that word joy. Um, I used the beautiful Starry Background Embossing Folder, MCTEO2. I love this. Oh my goodness, I love that. Um, I also used the stitched zigzag dies, and I layered two of them up. And then I also used one by itself on one of my cards. Uh, to add details to my cards, I used the Christmas Greens die, MCT475. I used the little pine frond. I used the holly plate die, and I used the middle and smaller size hollies. I used, uh, for my cards, I used both her stitched rectangles and the XOXO border dies. And then to make some circle cards, I used the bunch of fun circle dies, the four inch circle die set, the add-ons, um, the circle card add-on die set, the eyelet doily dies, as well as the pretty scallop circle dies. So her whole arsenal of circle products pretty much were used. So those are all the die sets that I used. And then let's dive in and I'm going to show you the products that I, the projects that I made. So the first project is this cute, cute little treat bag. And again, that side piece now allows you to make the sides to your bag. So I love how that turned out. Um, and then uh, I used uh, the blue paper. I thought it would be fun to just do a, a blue bag for hot cocoa. And uh, I'll put some hot cocoa treats in here with some marshmallows and uh, some peppermint sticks. And you have that sweet little tag that says, add mix to your favorite mug, um, pour eight ounces of hot water and uh, top and stir, and then enjoy. So um, I added a little uh, hot cocoa to the front with a little ginger cookie and one of the candy canes inside. You can see the layer of hot um, of marshmallows in the back. And then I added three additional marshmallows. After glittering up that piece, I added some other marshmallows to the front. So I layered it up quite a bit. And uh, I just love how this turns out. I did leave this as a pocket. You could tuck a little note inside there if you'd like. And then on the back, just so you could see it, I went ahead and added the North Pole original um, stamp on uh, the square piece so you could see what it looks like. So doesn't that look nice? I really like how that turns out on there. So just a really sweet uh, treat bag. And uh, these are a nice size. I Just um, to remind everybody, this is about a five and a quarter by about four inches wide. Okay, a little over four. So um, just a really nice size bag. You could definitely use this a lot for Christmas gift giving of all kinds. It would fit fuzzy socks and just all sorts of different small gifts. And then the next card that I want to show you, or the first card that I want to show you is this one. This one says North Pole Cookie Company established 2022. Um, bake daily and this is that beautiful plate die with all the cookies on it and I did some 
cookies, uh, some tree cookies with green frosting and pink frosting. I made my snowflakes with pink and white frosting. I added a couple of the marshmallows and I just added glitter to the top of the marshmallow. And uh, I added the little bow to the ginger. I used just a really tiny, these are um, Statler Brothers, let's see. I think they're called Statler. You, these are Tri-Plus Fine Liners. I have a whole bag full of these and you order them in a set on Amazon, but they're the perfect fine line size to make the little dots for the ginger. And then I drew some buttons in for the, the front of the ginger too. Um, I cut off half of the front of the card and I used the star embossing folder on some vellum. And uh, this is the Bunch of Fun Circle dies. I cut it in white and I cut it in vellum and I embossed the vellum. I embossed the, the hot cocoa mug with the same starry embossing folder. Um, just added a couple marshmallows with glitter on the top of them. And then I added the snowflake with glitter and I put a little uh, peppermint in the center of it as well as the center of the two snowflake cookies. I love how this card turned out. I was feeling pink. Um, which always makes me think of my sweet friend Christine at Shabby Pink House. Um, and I just love how this card turned out and how sweet these cookies look on this adorable plate. And the mug, of course, could also sit on the plate and you could just put a couple of cookies. But I thought it was fun to just have a whole plate of cookies on the table. So that's what I did. And then as you open this up, I just used one of her pretty scallop circle dies with that beautiful pink snowy paper from last month's paper pad. Um, and then uh, I did, or actually it was from the Christmas in July paper pad, I think, but it's the Christmas gingerbread one. And then on the back, I did another piece of pink cardstock, all embossed with that starry embossing folder again. And I added just a little snowflake uh, cookie and a strip of the diagonal gingham in pink. So I love how this card turned out. I think it's my favorite card that I've made so far. Um, but I have others that I really like. <laughs> so here's another one that I thought turned out really fun. Um, I was die cutting a bunch of circles. And whenever I do that, I tend to try to arrange them so that it looks nice. And then I save the piece. And it's fun to use those pieces on cards later on. So I decided to go ahead and use it. And what I did was I took it outside and I sprayed it with some mica stains. So you can see the red mica stain that I used and how it sort of glimmers. And I, before I sprayed it with the mica stain, I did use some vintage photo distress ink just to edge um, all of the holes, um, the circle die cut apertures. I edged them in brown. And then I also just edged the whole outside of the card with brown. And then when I sprayed the mica stain, it kind of went over the brown in parts. Um, but that mica stain just has a beautiful shimmer to it. I hope you can see it. And then once it was all dry, I don't know if you can tell, but I took it and I put it through that starry embossing folder again. And those stars look so cute on these cards. Oh my gosh, I just love that. So I hope you can see the detail when I get in close. Um, and then I took and put acetate behind the apertures, okay? I lined the card with the beautiful brown cardstock that has the, the hot cocoa recipes on it, and then did the acetate, put this layer over the top that has the mica stain, and then in each of the openings, I put either a cookie or a hot cocoa mug. And you can see how I decorated the hot cocoa mug with this reindeer brewed hot chocolate, that stamp from the stamp set, You've got the little marshmallows, the cinnamon stick, and the candy cane, as well as a piece of holly. This is the beautiful holly paper from the uh, the, the Christmas in July paper pad. And, uh, and then all of the cookies turned out so cute. Um, and then I made this cute little label that says hot cocoa and gingerbread. And in the mugs, I, stopped the, I stamped that little 25 cent piece. And then I just colored these with a, a gel pen and some markers. So I love how this turned out. I love the glimmer that the mica stain gives to the card. Isn't that fun? I hope you can see the glimmer. It's so pretty. And then on the inside, I just added a snowflake and a little strip of paper with those XOXO border dies. And then on the back, I added another strip of that chocolate paper. This was one of the scraps left over. And I put another little tree on there. So just really sweet. And I love using, um, I loved using these, uh, leftover pieces that had all these circles cut out of it as the cover of my card. So that is another wonderful card that I did. I love how this one turned out too. And then I wanted to use that fun hot chocolate, whoops, sorry, I'm bumping the camera. 
I love this fun hot chocolate sentiment that's in the sentiment set. So I used that, colored it with some with some red Copic, and I layered it up on two layers of this sweet little die cuts. And uh, and then I I had an aperture cut out of the front of this card, and I added this peppermint paper to it. And then I left the opening so that when you open this up, you have a sweet little ornament that someone can hang on their tree. And uh, this is that, of course, that sweet little hot cocoa mug again with some little greenery, a little uh, cookie with a gem in the center, um, the little ginger and the um, candy cane decorating it. And I did use this piece of the die, okay, the layering piece, to cut out the center of a second mug. And then inside, I put some marshmallows and a snowflake and some little glitter snowflakes in there too. And uh, I might even add some white splatters to this. I'm not sure yet. But um, for now, I just did it just like this. And this would make a perfect little gift to send to somebody because this has a backer on it with a string and they could hang this on their tree or use it as a gift tag. So I love this hot chocolate sentiment though. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. And then my last card that I wanna show you is an easel card. And this one uses that fun striped paper, the hot cocoa mug with the cinnamon stick and the candy cane, three little cookies, the bunch of fun circle dies makes this circle aperture. And I did this as a easel card. So it pops up. You can see what it looks like on the inside. It says happy cocoa and gingerbread season. This is the hot cocoa die cut that's in the um, in the mug set. And uh, I layered it up on some of those um, die cuts from, oh, I forgot to bring that plate die in. But this is that cinnamon strip plate die with the circles or the octagonal um, dies. And I forgot to bring it in, but that's what I use to create the sentiment that you see here, these sentiment strips. And then this hot cocoa word die is in that um, mug set that is new this month. So you can see how this ends up looking like this with the sweet little, um, the sweet little bunch of fun circle uh, dies makes this cute little um, circle plate to sit on top of the easel card. And uh, you just set this up like this and it stands up for whoever receives it. And then on the back, I added another little um, gingerbread and just some of the scraps of papers that I had left over to decorate the back of the easel card. So that's what this one looks like. I love how this turned out. It's so, so sweet. And what a fun striped paper that is. I love that, Emma. You did such a good job on the paper pad. Um, and then the last card I did, I wasn't sure if I should show this one to you guys or not. I was playing around with cellophane and making the card look like it's a wrapped package, sort of like a, a pastry box or something with wrapping on it. And I'm not sure if I would do this necessarily to give away again, but um, it, it is a cute card. It is a shaker. There's shake, shake, it, shake in there. Um, I did use some vellum and a star embossing folder to make the background inside the Bunch of Fun Circle card die. So this creates a card, and uh, on the back I did use some more of that fun candy paper, and the mug is made with the candy paper. It has that happy cocoa and gingerbread season stamp on the front of the little layering piece with a holly, and then I used the tiny snowflake that you can create the little snowflake cookies with just to add a little detail to the front of the whipped cream with the marshmallows, the ginger, and the little um, candy cane. So this turned out really sweet. Um, I don't know how well it will come across on camera because of the cellophane, but um, I was just playing around with the cellophane just to see what it would be like to make a card with it. So I thought I would go ahead and show it to you anyway. So those are all of my projects, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful first day of sneak peeks for the My Creative Time release. Um, again, it's Tuesday. We'll do sneak peeks today and tomorrow. And then the release will be on Halloween. So I hope you will come back and join me for the second day of sneak peeks on Wednesday. And then, of course, on Thursday, it will be release day. And we'll show everything to you in its entirety. So come back tomorrow. There's more to see. And uh, let me know what you think of today's projects. Which ones are your favorites? And uh, what die set or stamp set are you most excited about? Um, 
I just love this cookie plate and the cookies. I think that's my favorite thing with the cute little hot cocos with them and these adorable stamps. So just so much fun playing with these products. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for giving me thumbs up, for liking, subscribing, and sharing my videos out. I appreciate each and every one of you that vis visits my channel. If you're new, I hope you will stay for a while and subscribe so that you can see my future endeavors in this wonderful paper crafting and just any time, type of arts and crafts that I like to share. So um, thank you so much for tuning in today, and I will see you tomorrow for the second day of Sneak Peeks for the My Creative Time release. All right, bye now.